Transportation is trying to modernize our air traffic control systems. They say the equipment we use today is decades old and needs a modern touch. Aviation experts say it's about time the equipment gets replaced. Our Washington, D.C. correspondent Rachel Knapp joins us live. Rachel, you were at the meeting with the DOT secretary. How long will this update take and what changes could travelers expect to see? Well, good evening, Alicia. So this uh, potentially could take anywhere between three to four years, and that's if they get all the funding that they need from Congress. Now, Alicia, there have been some numerous uh, air safety uh, travel concerns lately due to some recent incidents like uh, delays and other communications uh, warnings. So really, there's a, quite a long list as to what they're going to focus on, everything from radar to communications fibers. The list just goes on. Along the press briefing stage at the Department of Transportation, staff laid out some decades-old equipment to show people what air safety experts use to help navigate the skies. We've had years of neglect, decades of neglect. It's been a patchwork of fixes, partial funding. We're going to fix it today. Transportation Secretary Sean Duffy lays out the administration's vision for a new air traffic control system. We're going to rebuild some towers. We're going to rebuild some TRACONs. We're going to rebuild some centers. Not all of them, but we're going to rebuild a few of them that need to be, need to be rebuilt. Everything else that controls the airspace is going to be brand new. So we're going to have new telecom, new fiber throughout the system. We're going to have brand new radios in our towers to communicate between air traffic controllers and uh, with airplanes. The federal government has been under scrutiny after increased traveler concerns in the wake of fatal crashes, ongoing delays, and most recently at Newark, airspace controllers losing all contact with pilots last week after a copper wire failure that transmits radar data to TRACON, the air traffic control facility in Philadelphia. Anytime an air traffic control scope goes blank for a minute, a minute and a half, that's, that's pretty bad. Aviation experts say it was a miracle nothing bad happened from the latest incident. So it's bad, but it can be worse. We just have to uh, make sure it doesn't get worse because we're way past the breaking point uh, in this aging air traffic control system. This ambitious project could cost billions of dollars, but industry leaders and safety experts say it's needed. This is bold, but I have to tell you, it is absolutely necessary to ensure safety in our skies. And Alicia, on top of modernizing this safety uh, equipment, another big focus for the administration is on recruiting and retaining air traffic controllers. Officials say that we are about 3,000 air controller controllers short of what's actually needed to help navigate our skies. But the administration is rolling out their own plans to make sure they do uh, get more people to fill those slots. Alicia, back to you.